Any public discussion about religion can quickly turn into a loud argument. Tonight, The Early Show's Dave Price takes us to a town that's become an example of how to get along despite your differences. Far away from the religious strife of the Middle East and the simmering tensions of our post-9-11 world, there is this, an oasis of hope in the small community of Teaneck, New Jersey, a town where 30% of its residents are Jewish Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. and where their new mayor is a practicing Muslim. Good evening, welcome to tonight's meeting. Working together to keep these communities not only intact but flourishing are Mayor Mohammed Hamiduddin and Deputy Mayor Adam Gussin, an Orthodox Jew. What makes this community different? It's just an incubator for understanding. You want to live here. You come in from the outside, you know it's not a homogeneous community, and you want to live in a community where you're going to raise children who are going to meet all different types of people. The things that are most important are the things that we share in common. The differences become less important. Teaneck is a cultural prism reflected on Main Street throughout its restaurants and shops. And in the sounds of prayer, which ring out from the town and forms a diverse constituency within a tiny six square mile radius. Is there a Jewish way to fill a pothole? Is there a Muslim way to plow the streets? Is there, no, the answer is no. Ideally. It's that practicality and synchronicity that are sources of pride for Teaneck residents. We're living in the United States. There are people of all kinds here and you should be able to get along with everybody. So what do you say to the people who say, this is a small little community in New Jersey this isn't the rest of the country. This isn't the rest of the world. The small little people, small little communities are the ones that go out and change the world slowly, right? The small town of 39,000 has often been at the forefront of cultural diversity and change, stretching all the way back to the civil rights movement in the mid-1960s. In the spring of 1964, Teaneck became the first American town with a white majority to desegregate its schools. <laughs> Fast forward 46 years, and that mission for equality is still clear. Okay. Are there things that happen in Teaneck that could happen elsewhere? Yeah, I think I really think there are. It shows that kids can dream a little bigger, and anybody can do anything, and you don't have to pigeonhole yourself and says thinking that, oh, I can't do something. Good job, good job. Dave Price, CBS News, Teaneck, New Jersey.